So, like, as a lot of you guys know, I actually uh, went back to college uh, just, like, last week or something, and I signed up for an art history class, and I got this big-ass uh, art history textbook. And you might think, like, art history is pretty boring, but there's actually some pretty cool stuff in this book. You know, we got stuff about uh, Pablo Picasso, Leonardo, the leader of the Ninja Turtles, and, um, wait, what the f***? I found a note. All right, well, let's see what's in this note. It is a sin to wear a Sonic hat with an N64 shirt. How's it going, guys? You know me, it's your boy Luke, back again. Ba back again once again so today guys i am making my comeback to youtube if you don't know i also launched this video right beside a new episode of pokey quiz thought it'd be messed up to release a smash bros video but not a pokemon video so i wanted to do a double release like that so you can check that out after or during if you don't if you don't care about this video you can just switch and watch that one i guess but what i want to talk about today is a newcomer coming to super smash bros ultimate so we only have like three months until the game actually comes out, which is just insane. The wait for this Smash Bros. has been really short. Pretty much every newcomer we've gotten was, um, they're all, they've all been really cool, but they're all kind of obvious. Inkling, you know, everyone knew Inkling was gonna come. Ridley has been a highly requested character, as well as King K. Rool and Simon Belmont. The Echo's kind of surprising, I didn't really think we were gonna get Krom, but hey, I'll take it. But, uh, if you guys kind of think about it, there's always been, like, an unexpected newcomer in every single Smash game. But either way, we're definitely gonna get some sort of unexpected character as a newcomer in Smash Bros. Ultimate. A character that you just would have never guessed or expected. So I kind of want to break it down into three categories. First off, we have the retro characters no one expects. This includes characters like Mr. Game & Watch, Duck Hunt Dog, Ice Climbers, even Rob. Then we have the characters where it's like, who, who, who the f*** are you? This would include characters that kind of follow the pattern of Marth and Roy. Neither of them had games that were out in the United States yet, so no one really knew who they were. And the last category I want to talk about is a miscellaneous category. This is just like characters that you would have just never guessed in a million years we're going to make in the Smash Bros. And this includes characters like Wii Fit Trainer. I mean, no one thought that Wii Fit Trainer was going to be able to fight Bowser Jr. in 2014. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's hop right into the characters that I think might be added. So we're going to start with the retros. This one I have the most ideas for, because it's kind of just like, think of an old NES game that doesn't have representation. Maybe they'll put it in Smash, I don't know. A lot of the other categories are kind of hard, because miscellaneous characters, okay, I can think of a few, but characters that I don't know, well, you know, I don't know them, so I, how can I predict them being in Smash? Anyways, I have three main retro characters that I want to talk about in today's video. First one being Balloon Fighter. So, Balloon Fighter, of course, is from the NES game way back when. And I think no one really thinks that Balloon Fighter is going to be in the game, so it would be kind of unexpected. Balloon Fighter is kind of one of the only last remaining unique NES characters that they can actually add in Smash. I mean, they're not going to add Soccer Player from Soccer or some shit like that. So, the only reason I think Balloon Fighter has a chance of getting in the game Game is because Satoru Iwata actually worked on that game and of course unfortunately he did pass away recently and so it would kind of be a really good tribute maybe to Iwata if they included Balloon Fighter in the game but other than that uh, he does have one thing going against him and that's the fact that Villagers Up B is literally the Balloon Fighter reference also I mean it's kind of hard to think about like moves to design for Balloon Fighter like what exactly would he be doing you know so I definitely think Balloon Fighter was worth mentioning however I don't really think he's gonna be in the final game next up I have the excited bike rider this one kind of fits the same category as the balloon fighter where it's kind of one of the last like iconic nes characters that's left to not be added into smash bros and i know a lot of you are thinking like how how are they going to make a character that's on a motorcycle fight and that is a good question i mean we have kind of seen that before we have bowser jr who's pretty much always in his clown car so i think if they really wanted to they definitely could make it work However, I think it's definitely going to be more difficult than Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr.'s clown car has like a lot of character itself. It has a face and it has like arms and all that shit. And this is kind of just a guy on a motorcycle. So I don't really see them putting Excited Bike Rider in the game. But again, like with Balloon Fighter, it's worth mentioning because maybe they will. Who knows? And so the last final 
retro character I have to talk about is actually, I've never heard anyone say this except for me. And uh, I actually think it has a pretty good chance of being added to the game, to be honest. And that is going to be none other than Donkey Kong Jr. So first off, no, Donkey Kong Jr. is not Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong's like a chimp or some shit. Donkey Kong Jr. is just a little fucking gorilla. So first off, Donkey Kong Jr. definitely represents those old NES games because he was in like Donkey Kong 2 or whatever. And he would also be like a super easy Echo Fighter. Or even if he's not an Echo Fighter of Donkey Kong, he could also be just like a, like one of those clone characters that's based off of another character, kind of like Fox and Falco, where it's like clearly Falco is based off of Fox, but they also have different moves that make them unique. And you know, Donkey Kong Jr., you know, he, he was in Donkey Kong 2, and he was in Super Mario Kart way back when. It's a weird character, and I don't, I don't hear anyone else saying it. But I think because of the fact that it could just be a Donkey Kong Echo as well as an NES representative, that he actually has a good chance of being in the game. So, uh, when it comes to negatives for Donkey Kong Jr., I really can't think of any, so pretty much he's 100% confirmed. We can go home, bitch. Nah, but he, you know, he probably won't be, but I just, I really thought that that was a pretty good idea, and I wanted to mention it for sure. Alright guys, so we're actually going to take a real quick break in between the next section. So I went on Twitter, and I asked you guys to tell me the number one newcomer that you want to see in Smash Bros. Ultimate. And so I compiled a video of all of your responses, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey Luke, don't know if you got my other five messages. Did you ask me this before? Yo, what up guys? I really hope Thanos from Fortnite is in that new Smash. Big fan of your, your channel, have been waiting for a new upload ever since, you know? Hey Pokeball Luke, uh, I'm a really big fan. I think, I think the newcomer should be Wallace and Gromit, baby. Wallace and Grubb. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I think they should add the Roblox man. And I just thought that I really, really want Gustavo Rock and Big Time Rush in Super Smash Bros. DJ Academics for Smash, right? Because he's he's made of Lego and can break, but when he dies, he goes, Ooh! Look at him, dude. Beautiful. It could uh, be like how Pokemon trainers with the Pokemon, and I think it could honestly be the best new fighter. What is that go? Star. Hey Luke, big fan. Uh, for Smash Ultimate, I'd love to see Courage the Cowardly Dog. Whenever people talk about newcomers for Smash Ultimate, I always see characters like Banjo and Kazooie and Geno being talked about, which I don't really get. Um, yeah, I think they should put Goddard in Smash, you know, the robot dog from Jimmy Neutron. Hey Luke, I really want DJ Academics in Smash. Why do you want those characters when we can have the cube? From Fortnite! We take Sonic, we make him black, we grab a thing, we make it it's the red thing here, put something there. He should really be in Smash already. Uh, why, 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 uh, why be on Namir? Uh, he should be in Smash. If you think about all the things Smash doesn't have, it's a good boy. They, they need a good boy. And, and, wait, 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 I, I gotta move him, wait. This gun looks so good. All right, well those responses sure were, oh man, those sure f***ing sucked. My entire mood for the entire day is ruined. Let's just, let's just get back to the video. All right, so the next category we are talking about is the who the f*** are you category. I can only come up with two names for this one and one of them was kind of bullshit. The first name I came up with was like the Sable Prince. He is from um, this this game. It was a game that was never released outside of Japan, so that's why no one would know who he is. Uh, the one reason I kind of think he has maybe a good chance is the fact that he was an assist trophy in Smash for Wii U. He was that dude that like turned into the frog and then the snake. And his assist trophy has yet to be seen in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate yet, so you know, maybe he will be in the game. There have been like some leaks that have said he's in the game, but all leaks 
are bullshit. And uh, I think speaking about leaks is a good transition to the next character, which is going to be Agnes from Bravely Default. The only reason I'm saying Agnes from Bravely Default is because of that fake leak a while back. It had Agnes in it, and I was like, man, who the f*** is Agnes? But, you know, maybe they will add a Bravely Default rep in Smash, who knows? I think most people in the United States probably don't know many of those characters at all. So it would be kind of a random addition. I could see them adding a character from those games. And yeah, finally we're going to move on to the last category, which is the miscellaneous one this one i only have one uh one idea for it and it's it's a pretty good idea kind of like donkey kong jr i feel like this might have a chance of getting in the game but pro probably not and that's gonna be like the nintendo labo robot thing um it would be promotion for nintendo labo uh also it's kind of similar to rob where it's like a video game toy instead of a video game and i mean who knows we might be having like a subspace emissary sequel we still don't know what the green mode is that people are calling spirits we, we don't know what that is it could be a story mode could be an adventure mode and maybe they want some sort of minion robot to be in it again well it can't be rob probably because you know rob has kind of already had his time as being the minion robot back in the first subspace emissary so maybe now they'll have the nintendo labo robot be one of the main villains of the uh story mode other than that like a few other characters worth mentioning uh professor egad possibly and no one talks about him maybe he'll be in the game i'm not sure and also just like random echo fighters like i've seen people make full ass videos on an echo fighter possible for every character and most of the most of their echo fighters are really fucking stupid but it does kind of open your eyes where they could literally do an echo fighter for almost any character and we might just get something that we don't expect kind of like richter dark samus crom daisy people wanted them in the game i didn't think crom was going to be an echo fighter and i still don't think he should be an echo fighter but you know they're they're definitely highly requested characters and we're definitely welcoming them into the roster with open arms richter uh i am also welcoming also welcoming I can't say welcoming. Richter definitely is is cool too, but you know, no one really expected who Richter to be an Echo. We didn't think that a newcomer could get an Echo, but now we know that a newcomer can get an Echo. So we might see something like that happen again, another very unexpected Echo character of a newcomer. Um, and yeah, so that would technically be another unexpected newcomer. So yeah, that's pretty much all the ideas I have for this video. I really want to know uh, if you guys have any creative replies. I especially want to hear if you guys have any more retro characters you think that they can add so definitely leave those in the comment section below like i said guys i uh, uploaded this with the pokey quiz so you can go ahead and check that out on my channel if you want i'm coming back to youtube not as just a pokeytuber anymore but a full nintendo youtuber i love pokemon but i love nintendo even more and i play nintendo games all the time and i want to share my thoughts and opinions and gameplay with you guys so i hope you guys are welcoming welcome welcoming so I hope you guys are welcoming that idea. I will definitely still be uploading Pokemon content. Poke Quiz will be pretty regular, at least one or two a month. And yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for the support. Make sure to subscribe for more Smash, Nintendo, and Pokemon content. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Next episode. Next episode of what? There's not going to be Unexpected Characters Part 2. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.